Sasha, let's go. Let's go for a walk. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Let's go for a walk. Good morning guys and welcome back to the vlog. I hope you're all having a great day so far. I'm starting off this vlog nice and early this morning. I'm going to be taking out the dogs for a quick walk. Uh, then I'm going to come home, shower, change, uh, and then we are going to the dentist. I have to get impressions today for a mouth guard for sports and also a new retainer for uh, my upper teeth. Uh, and. I think my mom has to get something done, but I'm not 100% sure what is happening. So, it's, suppo it's supposed to be a really, really nice day out. Um, we're soon going to find out about that. But, it is supposed to be really nice today. Uh, it's probably like 22, which isn't too hot, but it is very comfortable weather. Um, and then, so, the dentist is actually early today, but I'm not exactly sure what we're doing after the dentist. Um, might stay and then go downtown or do something else or come back. I'm not 100% sure right now, but you guys will be there to find out for sure. So it's actually a little bit funny because I forgot that today is the first day of school for uh, all of the elementary schools uh, in York Region uh, and Toronto District School, like pretty much all of Ontario, I think, starts today for grades one to eight uh and also the grade nine start today which i'm sure is interesting because i know a bunch of people were helping out with grade nine day today it's actually like just an even more beautiful day than i thought it was going to be really really quiet although you hear the birds going right now but it's nice actually just walking the dogs again i i'm probably i hopefully i'll be able to do this during the school year um because my classes, most of my classes are a little bit later in the day, so like I can still walk the dogs in the morning and stuff, and then go to class. So it's just like a nice good morning, if you will, and then, um, and then I can head off to class. I honestly think that at this point Muffin has peed about 20 times. I don't know how he has any pee left in him. Uh, this is very confusing. Muffin, do you want to do you want to explain yourself to everybody? No, okay. You good, bro? You need the survey? Right now, you guys can go take the survey at yougoodbro.com. <laughs> uh, I don't know. It for whatever reason, I had tried that and it wasn't working before. So like, maybe the survey's working now. Maybe the server hasn't crashed. So make sure you guys go check that out. If you have to take the survey, take the survey. So that was actually like a really nice walk. Uh, really, it's just, like I said, it's really nice out, you can hear the birds chirping, clear, like, beautiful blue clear skies, um, and in a second I gotta go back there and, uh, grab the mail, cause it's probably, it's been a week since the mail was grabbed. Okay, so I'm gonna quickly grab the, uh, mail keys, run over, get the mail, and then... I'll be good to go if the mail keys are here and it doesn't look like they are. Okay, so apparently I'm not going to be grabbing the mail right now because the keys are never to be found. Very interesting. Do you know where the keys are? Do you know where the keys are? Do you know where the keys are? Keys are, Muffin. Do you know where the keys are? Okay, well, now I can uh, let the dogs upstairs, but. <laughs> I can also go have a shower and get ready for today. Yo guys, so I am back. Uh, it is a little bit later now. I am um, waiting outside Copa's right now for my mom. We finished up at the dentist, got my impressions done. My mom got her tooth fix that she needed to get done. Um, and then we went and got Vesuvio's pizza, which if you don't know and you haven't seen, haven't heard me mention it before, the best pizza in the world. I don't know what they do to make it so good, but it's amazing. It's so good every single time. It never fails to amaze me how good they make their pizza. I'm, I'm honestly just chilling here. I don't know. People are probably looking at me like, 
Oh my god, who's that talking to himself in the car? Lady just walked by in the back. Just kind of looked at me as, as she went by because she saw me talking to myself before. Because, like, who expects a vlogger to be talking to himself? Because that makes no sense at all. Yeah, for sure. She doesn't know this. She doesn't know this vlog life, though. You know, I'm not exactly sure why we're at Copa's over, like, Superstore or No Frills or Metro or anything like that. I mean, it. I guess the convenience of it being on the way back from the dentist, which is good. It's kind of not too far off the highway, which is better than, um, like, going past our house to go to Metro. So... There's that, but I feel like this is just so much more expensive for absolutely no reason. Like, it doesn't need to be more expensive, but it is more expensive. You know, I tend to, I tend to think that most of the stuff's probably organic, so they're probably charging whatever the hell they want to charge because... Hey, hey, do you mind? I'm vlogging. Okay, apparently he doesn't mind. He's just chilling right there now. So, um, I see you. I'm trying to vlog though, Seagull. Really appreciate if you would just shut up. But yeah, for no reason it's more expensive. I don't know, organic is always more expensive, so can't really do anything about that. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't I don't understand the hype over it, honestly. Like I don't uh for four years I'm not gonna be able to afford like if I'm living if I was living uh away from home um, I wouldn't be able to afford organic food, honestly, like, I just, I wouldn't, I'd be buying just regular food, because organic food is just way too expensive. Okay, but enough of all that talk about, like, stupid, boring, organic food and food and stuff and copas and whatever the hell it's going on today. So, um, when I get home, uh, I think I'm gonna chill for a little bit. I gotta figure out how I'm getting to, uh, my university tomorrow, because I gotta get there with, uh, myself and Connor as well. Uh, so I might just transit down. Like, I don't think it's that difficult to transit down. I think it's like an hour and a half-ish, which isn't terrible. Um, like a Bathurst bus, uh, right down to Steels, and then it's like right across Steels, and then just like one more bus. So it's very straightforward. It's gonna be a little bit time consuming, of course, but uh, it's gotta get done, and I gotta get down there, of course. So uh, I gotta figure that out, and then uh, once I uh, like feel a little bit less full, I think I'm uh, either gonna go for a run first or a workout first, then I'm probably gonna do both, I think. Um, I'm not 100% sure. But I'm, pr I'm definitely going to work out. Um, I just got to figure out what the weather is going to be like uh, if I want to go for a run. Because it was pouring like 20 minutes ago. So we'll see what happens. I'm just, I'm kind of right now getting into, getting back into working out. Um, so I haven't really been working out most of the summer. I've been work like literally just working all summer. Like I said before, that's why I haven't been vlogging as well. Uh, just crazy busy. So I'm gonna get back into that, and then um, I'm also gonna be uh, getting back into running as well. And then when I actually get like when I'm able to, so like before or after class and stuff, I'm gonna be able to use like the gym uh, amenities at my campus and like at the Lakeshore campus if I have to. Um, so it's it's really good and I have a gym right there and then I've also got like tryouts and stuff coming up for teams and it's gonna be a lot of fun. So I think like the, the, three, the three main sports that I'm gonna be playing for like extramurals, which is basically you make a team. It's between varsity and intramurals for us. A whole bunch of schools have it. Um, so it's uh, uh, Frisbee. So I have a trial for Frisbee on Thursday and next Monday as well. And then I have, what else? Uh, dodgeball, which is gonna be a lot of fun. I have one trial for that. And then also I'm going to be trying out for the hockey team because uh, they don't actually have a varsity hockey team. So extramural hockey team. Hopefully I make it. We'll see what happens there. Got two tryouts for that later on this month. Uh, but I have those two frisbee tryouts coming up like very, very soon because uh, it's probably played outside. So that's why they have to do it soon. 
But yeah, so I'm looking, I'm really looking forward to that. It's gonna be, I know for a fact it's gonna be a lot of fun. Um, and I'm just kind of getting myself more involved. I'm gonna be doing like Law Society as well, which is awesome because they have a debate, every, like an international competition every single year and they come out like really, really high every year. Um, and that's in Ottawa later. So I'm gonna get on that club, join that, and then just go from there. I think it's, I, I'm really excited about my first year um, and my first semester and I'm happy that I can bring you guys along with me. So as I am sitting here, still waiting for my mother to come out of Copas, I did think of something. Um, and what I want to do, uh, and for this past year it would have been my goal, if you remember in one of my vlogs I said, um, it was my New Year's vlog, or the day after New Year's. I said, look, this is what I'm going to, my goals for this year. So, what I was saying before I um, had to leave Copa's and drive back home was I want to write down a number so I actually just have to look for something from my mom right now. I lost her flip-flop. I'll explain that after. I want to write down the number of how many subscribers I have right now. And I think it's at like 2,190 subscribers, which you may think like it's not a huge number. It's not like Logan Paul, who's almost at 12 million in like 12 months, which is insane to think that he could have done that. Although he had a base before, but it's crazy these YouTubers that have millions and millions and millions of subscribers and billions of views. Um, but I want to write down those two numbers. I want to write down my subscribers at the time. Uh, uh, when I get upstairs, I'm literally going to write it in in real time, what my subscriber count is, what my real time views are. And then I'm going to come back after my first semester of high school, of the uh, high school university. I'm going to say, look, what has changed? Has my content changed? What's changed? Has my subscribers, like how many subscribers have I gone up? Like just to see my improvement. Because every, because one is better than none. And it's something I believe in that one is better than none. And a lot of you were probably thinking like, well, Lysander, one subscriber, one subscriber is nothing. Well, one is always better than none. If you can get one subscriber a day for 365 days, you have six, 365 people more watching your content. However, if you get zero subscribers one day or one subscriber the next day or zero, 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 you're not getting the same engagement from your audience. So if I can kind of track and look, oh, well, if I can, okay, this day, this day was here, 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 here. And I can just manually do it. I understand that YouTube does it itself. Like you, there's, there's a YouTube counter. There's an analytics chart that I can look at. But I'd rather do it for myself. I enjoy doing stuff like that for myself. And I can say, look, because I was busy of school, subscribers went down here. Or what, what happened here. Kind of like that kind of stuff. So that's what I'm going to do after I find this flip-flop. Although, this might take me a little, because I have no idea where this flip-flop is. I don't know where... Oh, there it is, there it is. Okay, we're good. Jeez. Uh, I was in a lot of trouble for that. There we go. Got it. Mom's going to be happy now. Whew, Sanders good. Found it. Yeah, I found it. It was just under the uh, saw. It fell behind so, what I was saying before, uh, and what I wanted to continue doing, was looking at this number. Now, this right here is my current subscriber count. 2,169 of you people subscribed to my channel. Now, if I just, if I go to my channel and I actually go and look at my uh, real-time views I also have to figure out what that number is so there's the answer right there 12,691 lifetime views okay so there it is right there those are the two numbers that I am keeping basically 
and going to be like just analyzing. So those two numbers I am going to write down and say, look, of this date at this time, Tuesday at 4.33 p.m. September 5th, 2017, I had 12,677 views and I had 2,169 subscribers. By this time next year, how many am I going to have? Like, what is that number? Like, what is going to change? And it's just, it's, it's pretty crazy. And I think about the future and I think about the growth of this channel and the potential that we have. Uh, and I really think that we can do something big. Yeah, so I am about to do uh, just a little warm up workout, if you will. Uh, gonna take a quick uh, bit of uh, pre workout. Uh, get my juices going, get my blood flowing a little, uh, and then after I do this, I'm going to go for a run when my mom gets back, just so I can let her know where I am, um, and uh, yeah, it's going to be good. i quickly find a water bottle, put some pre-workout in. Oh, I got my water. Oh, man. Oh, my God. Okay, so I am going to absolutely destroy this workout. Let's get a dope time lapse of this and some other video and see what's going on. Let's get it. This is your start to fame. Do it, do it, do it. The fact that that wasn't even a long workout, and it's like, I'm this tired, jeez, I need to get back in shape. Like, I'm not in bad shape, I just need to get back into the shape that I was before. <sighs> Alright, so, today is Tuesday, so what I just did was it'll focus uh maybe or not okay 10 squats 30 second plank 25 crunches 10 jumping jacks 25 lunges 45 second wall sit 35 push-ups 35 sit-ups sorry 20 butt kicks and 10 push-ups oh jeez I was so ah. Hungry. So that uh, alone has broken the sweat for me. Um, I think in a couple minutes, I'm just gonna give myself a second, and then I am going to go for a run while I'm still got my like, I got my momentum up right now. Go for a run and just burn off more and more uh, calories. Well, that was interesting. So I just came back from my run. And I am done. I need to get back in shape. Whew, I just kicked my, my own ass on that run. Whew, okay. Dedicated, gonna be going to the gym. Working out, going for runs when I'm not able to go to the gym. After class and all that kind of stuff. Whew, I am tired right now. Okay guys, so I am heading out now to my friend Allie's house. I don't know what just got connected. Um, I'm heading out to my friend Allie's house now. She's holding, she's throwing, sorry, a bonfire. I'm gonna be seeing some of my old friends from high school at this bonfire. So uh, it's gonna be nice to catch up with everybody. I'm gonna bring this along with me. I'm not sure if I'm gonna film, how much I'm gonna film. So let's see what's happening. Um, you hurt me. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha, bitch. I okay. This is fun. I'm enjoying seeing all my friends again. It's actually really nice to chill with everybody right now and just kind of kick back and relax. They start school tomorrow. I don't start school tomorrow. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to it. 
Okay guys, so it has been a very long and eventful day. So I am going to wrap up the vlog here guys. I hope you've all had an awesome day. And of course make sure to like, subscribe, and have fun guys. And we'll see you in tomorrow's vlog. Good night.